Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. It means a lot to me that you guys have joined us tonight. And I want to, I see that all of my mods are on tonight. Thank you so much for being on here. And we had a lot of early birds. Check it out. Um, so all of you were on here. I do the, oh, let me turn the welcome off so you can see all of the early birds. I do, I turn the early birds, I quit typing on the early birds five minutes before um, we go live. So if your name isn't on there and you were early, it's because I have to quit typing at about five till. And I had a friend that dropped by and I didn't get to visit with them because I was in the middle of all of that. And um, so I'm glad that you all are on here tonight. There's already 38 of you and 32 of you have given me thumbs up already. Thank you so much. And for those of you that are in the Northeast and in the getting all of that heavy snow and everything that my sweetheart is headed into, and we'll show you a, a video of that in a moment, uh, please know that um, our prayers and love are with you, and I hope you're staying warm. And Curtis, hi, I see you on here. There's so many I know I'm going to to miss some. And oh, and Ruby, um, uh, let's see, Curtis said hi, Dewdrop, Curtis said hi. Ruby says uh, they are in uh, Lake Havasu. Um, that's really near where I am right now. And um, Mark and Irene, I really appreciate your uh, support today and the notes that you have sent me. <laughs> Mandy, you have to decide what you want to do. You want to get down? You can get down. He, he's want, What he's wanting to do is my friend that dropped by has another dog. And so Bandit's wanting to go outside and play with the other dog, and he's mad at me because he can't, and it's dark, and I'm I'm in a parking lot, so I'm not going to let him run around. But um, let's see, Donna says that I uh, hope I'm warmer there than you guys are in Iowa, and I can guarantee you I am. And hi, Antonia. And Antonia, y'all might have seen her on my videos from Lola Palooza. Uh, we got to go to the store together and everything, and I'm hoping to see you if you're still in the area. And, oh my goodness, Wondering Wild Woman says that they had three feet of snow. I know everybody is just buried in it. And um, Val and Greg are on here, and y'all are going to uh, see them. And, and y'all saw them on the video today if you saw it. And I know that we will... Um, uh, uh, talk about that in a little bit because I, I had a lot of reactions to that and, and, and rightfully so. I'm just really proud of me. I'm not crying and I'm not going to cry. So um, because it, I've got a lot of blessings too and, and it just is what it is. But but we'll talk about that in a moment. And I see that Deborah Van Zant is on here um, and Megan is already asking me when do I get to the campground and it's actually not a campground, it's an RV park, and uh, Kyle has asked that same thing, and we will talk about all of that in just a moment. So let's do a week in review. So on uh, the week in review, the, the video that I had up on Monday was a day in the life, and I want to ask you guys, what do y'all think about my new vlog format? Have y'all noticed that I've got a new vlog format, and and I've got new uh, graphics and everything. And what I'm going to be doing is just showing you a day in the life, whatever that looks like. And um, so this week kind of kicked that off. And I really appreciate Robert's help on on uh, helping me with all of that. But I want to know what do y'all think about that. And uh, so so let me know that. Oh, and um, Lola, 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 I hope I'm saying that right. $77.79, um, $9.99 in the Super Chat tip. Thank you so very much. And Merry Christmas, everybody. By the way, oh, shoot, I have oh, I've been so scattered. I don't know where my, um, where my Christmas hat and everything is. And I meant to have it on. I have it laying right here. Um, and it's, it's back there in the back somewhere. Shoot, I, I'll go get it in a minute. Oh, I know what I'll do. I, I'll, I'll go get it in a minute. So anyway, uh, so, and Angelique is on here, and she is uh, listening while she has dinner. Thank you, my darling. And so y'all let me know what y'all think about the um, my new format and the vlog and all the graphics and everything. The Dan Van is on here. My good friend, the Dan Van, love you. Thank you for being on here tonight. And um, Howard Moses says, hi, you Deb. 
And oh, and Antonia says that uh, she she thinks the new format and the vlog is is great. Pat in the Hat says she likes it. Oh, hi, Pearl. Didn't see you on here. And she says uh, she likes it too. So thank you guys for letting me know that. Oh, Nancy says that she loves the new uh, vlog format. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Sea Lions uh, says that she likes it too. So that makes me happy. Thank you because that's something that I can do is just film what I'm doing during the day. Like, you know, hold my phone up and go, hey, here's what I'm doing. And and then Robert does his magic and makes it look pretty for me. But that's, so that's what we'll go with from, from now on. And so the other thing that I did this week for Week in Review is I posted this about this guy. Uh, they just stopped right in my camp. Okay. And so I didn't, the girl is also, the, it was a female driver and she got out and dropped trial right there in my camp and peed and he was peeing and when she saw when i yelled out hey because i was like what the heck i was standing there grilling i'm like hey and so she pulls up to completely expose him as if he wasn't already exposed i mean look at that he, he's standing behind he didn't even try to hide on the other side and she didn't either she got right out on the on the driver's side but you know that is not what amazed me the most about that the most that amazed me about that is when i posted it on, on social media about it was about 40 percent of the people thought that i was wrong for thinking that that was wrong i'm like since when does pissing in somebody's camp be okay i don't get it i don't get it i'll never get it those of you that think i'm wrong for posting that or think i'm wrong for um thinking that they shouldn't have done that oh and then the other thing is people said they're not in your camp they're on your road no they're not what that is, that little lane that they're in, that is uh, the lane to come into my campsite off of the road. They weren't on the road. Um, anyway, so I just, a uh, week in review, I was just shocked at um, the number of people that think that's okay anywhere in this country. And, and then the other thing that really shocked me is people were like, you're on public land. It's not your campsite. Well, where does my campsite begin and end? If it's not the lane where you pull in to get to my rig, is it at my rig? Is it at my door? Is it on my hood? I mean, exactly what part of public land can I say, hey guys, this is kind of my campsite. Um, I, just because it's public campsite doesn't mean it's your land. I mean, you know, there's a, there's a lot of public places. There's public parks and parks and cities. I dare you to go drop trial and just squat there. Anyway, it just really ticked me off. And then the people's attitudes about saying that I was in the wrong. But it, anyway, I just, that's enough of that. But the, I just had to share that those are the two things that floored me. I thought, I thought those people taking, stopping and taking a whiz in my camp was what was going to shock me the most. But it wasn't. What shot me the most was the people that thought that I'd, I shouldn't have, that there wasn't anything wrong with it, and that I, I didn't have a right to say it was my campsite. Uh, yeah, I did. You, you know, you try coming and stealing something from my campsite. Then we'll really have some words. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, and, uh, and, and so Lori says, a good point, even if it weren't in your camp, why do it in full sight of others? And I was four miles, y'all can ask Gio and Allie that had to go out and retrieve my stuff this week. I was four miles from the road. So it's like they had to travel across the desert and travel 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 across the desert and go, oh, here's an RV. Let's stop and pee here. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that that that's enough of that and thank you all that are um uh <laughs> i love the jokes about it thank you and it, i mean you have to kind of laugh but but it, it was it was just um it was just bizarre to me that that the the, the reactions i got uh, from people and i and i thought the other was going to be the most shocking thing and so then um i shared a video about um the hike that Robert and I did and he got me up uh, early early in the morning well it probably wasn't that early it was probably only like 6 30 or something like that uh, but before I had coffee and it actually turned out to be a wonderful walk and you're going to see in his video in a moment uh, he does a drone shot of where we actually walked and it's uh, just so beautiful and Robert, I miss you so much, and I miss being able to be out at that campsite, and I'm in this dang parking lot now, but only for, for one more night, and I'll be leaving tomorrow, But and we'll talk about that in a minute. 
but one of the things that I liked about that video, the, um, what did I call it? I forgot what I called it, uh, Sunrise Hike, is that um, I just got over sharing what I look like even in the morning. I'm doing a vlog, right? That's going to be my channel from now on. Whatever I'm doing, that's what you guys get. And I'm doing this because I'm like, you know, picture me, picture me holding up a, a phone and just filming whatever I'm doing. And so uh, that's what you get, including first thing in the morning when my honey wakes me up and wants to go for a walk. And so, so that's what that uh, looked like. <laughs> Antonia says, loved the bad head. <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was uh, straight, straight out, <laughs> out of bed. And uh, I'm usually up before Robert, but that didn't happen uh, that day. And um, a Nomadic Weather Bear says that maybe they recognize my RV. And, and I, I don't think that was the case with them. I, I really, I don't know what their deal was. Um, I, I really don't. And it was like 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. So I don't think it was drugs or alcohol could have been. But because um, they drove really erratically too. And they just kept going out in the desert. And there's nothing past where I was. So I, I, I don't know. But, uh, and they weren't in an ATV or anything. As you saw, they were in a, a Cherokee or something. But uh, <laughs> anyway, I have to share that one time. I was uh, camped at, at Craigie Wash, and my friend Gina was with me, and Robert was camped nearby, and um, I can't remember if it was me and Gina sitting in my free, the white van, and I can't remember if uh, Gina was in the van with me or if it was Robert, but these people came running up to the windshield. It is like paparazzi, you guys, and, and I only have like 11,000 on my channel. I didn't even have that then. Anyway, they come running up and they take pictures and, and everything as fast as they can through the windshield of my van, like leaning over the hood and taking, I think it was Gina because she, she just freaked out. And Robert, if you remember, because I know you were there and she just freaked out, but, but, it, but it's like, and then they run off and they, they run, run and get back in their, their vehicle and they, they speed off. And, and so that, that was the weirdest thing. And, and I, those pictures never showed up anywhere that I'm aware of. But Pamela says keep it keep keep it real and we're good. So that that's funny. And um, uh, so uh, uh, anyway, I I, I kind of lost my train of thought. There's 148 of you on here, and 84 of you have given me thumbs up, and thank you for that. It really does help. Uh, so that is the week in review. And I just said that uh, after about the hike that I miss Robert. And so uh, we will do the Where's Robert segment now. Let me catch up on. Um, uh, and uh, Susie says, I love seeing you two together. And, um, and Robert says, that was both Robert and Gina. You were both in the van with me? I didn't remember that. But it, it freaked, I remember it freaked Gina out. And, um, and so, and, and I never did know who those people were or, or anything. And, oh, uh, Willow's Whisper says, hi, Robert, hope you're doing okay. So all of that leads me right into the Where's Robert segment. I'm going to play his video for you, you guys. Here you go. Uh, hey, everybody, time for another episode of Where's Robert. You know, fortunately, we haven't had to do one of these in a while because I've been with Deborah. But as Deborah mentioned in her Friday Night Live last week, uh, I am on my way to upstate New York for a family situation. A grandfather who uh, is 94 years old, but he's been living at home more or less independently up until very recently. And uh, his health is failing rapidly, and he's been admitted to hospice now. So uh, Deborah. Uh, very graciously and uh, selflessly sent me to New York. Given the weather, the winter is December, late December, and so the weather is an issue in many parts of the country. And just this week, and this is this week, at least we've had snow in the plains and in uh, the Northeast. So I'm um, taking it the safest route I can, which would turn out to be I 10 across to Jacksonville, Florida, then up uh, 95 up into the, uh, the Northeast. Basically, I'm just traveling. I'm not stopping to see anybody. I'm just for to uh, stay uh, safe um, while I'm traveling to see uh, my grandfather. I did uh, basically stay in rest areas several nights, and then the last night I stayed in at Walmart because I'm getting, now that I'm on 95, they're not, not nearly so friendly about letting people overnight at rest areas. I did find some cool ones, though, across 10 in, uh, like, Texas and Mississippi and stuff, so that was fun. Uh, 
and uh, some of them are really pretty wild. So uh, that that worked out okay. So I'll just just uh, basically just traveling low key, uh, sleeping in the van, eating in the van. The only thing I'm getting out of the van to do is get fuel when necessary to do that at the pump. So making way to upstate New York. Planning to be in this weekend sometime after the storm is done and all cleaned up. I think it's done snowing now, but I want to give them time to get the roads cleared up. You talk, um, my parents are in Eastern Mass. They said they got like a foot of snow and it was still coming down last I knew. Where my brother's at in upstate New York, which is where I'm heading, they had, they had two and a half feet and still coming down last I knew midday yesterday. So not sure where the total final count was on that, but it's a lot. And so I want to give a chance to clean up the roads before I get there. Uh, basically, though, planning to be there for the duration. And then I'll be heading back to Deborah in the desert uh, to see her and to get some warmer weather, hopefully. I'll be for a popsicle by then I'm sure and also but I am I do have like a ton, ton of blankets I have six or eight bl blankets some ridiculous thing and a heater so I'm okay that way and uh, you know we'll deal with the RV situation so thanks for tuning in hope you enjoyed this little update and I really hope you enjoy the rest of your Friday night live <music> Wasn't that lovely? Thank you, Robert, for sharing that with us. I just, uh, I, I, and for taking the time on your busy drive to uh, make that video for us. Thank you, and makes me miss you even more, but I, I really appreciate you doing that. I want to thank Sean, who did a super chat tip in there from New Zealand. And he says he remembers Cousin Eddie, good, bad, and otherwise, I am always interesting. Well, thank you for that, Sean. And I'm really disappointed because Robert sent me a clip that I was supposed to download and use um, in addition to the one that he just made of Cousin Eddie when he's like, Merry Christmas, and he's out at the um, at the curb. Do and, and do y'all know um, what, uh, um, what, uh, movie I'm talking about if you, I tell you what if you know what movie I'm talking about and you share that right now the first person that shares it correctly gets a magazine and I didn't even get one ready but the new magazines are in the latest issue of the meanderings magazine and so uh, the first person that tells me why I'm talking about cousin Eddie tonight what movie that comes from gets a free magazine uh and i will uh so let me know i mean you'll have to give me your your address and everything but there you go that's the contest tonight and i just did that impromptu and didn't even uh, uh put it out there and so lola says that robert's video was lovely thank you deborah van zant says she loves the um 
a boardwalk and Pamela says great update and uh, I saw all of the well well wishes to Robert I want to thank everybody for uh, doing that and um, and sea lions even and just everybody that's giving Robert well wishes because it's not easy for him to be on the road right now either oh there we have a winner already Brenda Whitlock says Christmas vacation and that is it so I put in the title that it's official. I'm Cousin Eddie. <laughs> and if y'all saw the video today, you know. And uh, so, oh, you guys, y'all are all jumping on it. But I am so sorry. Brenda was the first one. And so Brenda will get the, the brand new issue of Meanderings Magazine. Uh, hopefully Robert will put up where you can order your own. Um, I don't have links and everything available to me tonight because I, I just, uh, I've, been a little bit busy taking care of uh, finding a place to stay and getting towed and all of that. In fact, how many of you are on here that saw um, <laughs> uh, Pat in the Hat says, LOL, we all know that one. I know, right? Uh, I honestly had not seen it. I watched it before Rob with Robert before he left. <laughs> and uh, yes, uh, Kyle, it was Br Brenda Whitlock. And so Brenda, I may have your address. I'm not sure, but will you please email me and uh, make sure that I have your mailing address. I'd appreciate that. And Jerry says Robert is such a patient man. Yes, he is. And, and he, he not only helps me with my stuff, um, he, uh, he, he also has several clients that he does uh, freelance videography and editing work for. And plus he's heading up to take care of his grandfather and see him. And so um, anyway, um, he, he's, he's an amazing man. That's why I'm marrying him. <laughs> and um, oh, Pamela, thank you. She gave me a super chat. Oh my goodness, $50. And says, so sorry about your RV and Robert's grandfather. Hang in there. Happy holidays. Thank you. And Pamela, we, we appreciate that. And um, Robert says the magazines are also available on Amazon in both print and Kindle. And um, Pamela, I really appreciate you including in Robert in, in that too. Um, so um, let's see, what else did I have? Oh, well, that kind of leads us uh, about the holidays. Um, that, uh, uh, well, actually, hang on. So daughter uh, says that uh, she is uh, late. What happened to your van? Well, my van is, um, I, I sold it to Robert and then I got engaged to him. So I guess I kept the van in the family. <laughs> <laughs> when I sold it to him, we weren't engaged, so <laughs> I did not get engaged to him to keep my van, though, I promise, <laughs> um, but that, that's too funny, so that leads us, though, into, so today's video, um, I'd like to know how many of you on here uh, saw it, but today's video is uh, Rest in Peace to Freebird. And I'm going to go over viewer questions. I think that, oh, let me take this. Where's Robert off? I, I think that's going to be the uh, the best way to handle this is because I put that video up today. And um, and um, it, uh, I had a lot of comments and I tried to answer as, as many as I could. And, oh, sea lions, that's so sweet of you. She says, use my Amazon link if shopping for Christmas. I, I bet everybody's pretty much got their shopping done, but if you'll use my Amazon link anytime, I would appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and I make a little bit of money off of it. I, just a few pennies on the dollar, but every little bit helps. And um, so, uh, uh Oh, I know she meant my RV. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Thank you. Uh, I, I didn't make that clear. But yes, I knew she meant, meant my RV. I was just joking about uh, that I kept the van in the family. So let's do some viewer questions. Um, let's see. Uh, I Okay, good. I'm looking at the people that say that they, they saw my, my video today. Um, and pretty much what happened to Freebird is the uh, rear end, the differential has gone out. Now you guys know I have a wonderful mechanic in Pura. He's a mobile mechanic, is Tom and Heather. Um, I, we consider them friends of ours now. And I actually have talked to Heather today and then I saw that she texted me, but I was getting ready to go on the live stream and didn't get to talk to her. Um, he is saying that they had to have pulled, and Robert, this is new information for you because I just got this this uh, 
this comment or this text from from Heather to uh, reply to it. <laughs> Michael says, "You sure are a collection of a lot of stuff for a so <laughs> oh nomad." I do. Look at all this stuff I have, and now I don't know what I'm going to do with it since since um, since I have to uh, get rid of the RV. But Pamela says my van can become a kind of funny dowry. I, I guess it, I guess it could actually. Um, that's too funny. And um, that that's too funny. And I don't know what Willow Whisper said that Robert is saying exactly to, but I got to go see. Hold on, you guys. Oh, I'm not going to find it. It's too far back. Or I'm too behind is what I mean. Um, oh, thank you, Karen. She says she used my Amazon affiliate today. I appreciate that. And yes, every little bit uh, does does help. And um, so, Kyle, I'm going to answer all those questions in a minute. And if I don't, please remember and come back and, and post it out. But um, so the differential, the axle, the gear, um, I made myself notes, but I don't know if I can find them now. Um, I don't know where all my notes are. Uh, the gear something. Um, let's see. The gear wheel and the axle, the whole differential, the whole rear end uh, went out. And the good news is, is that, uh, it, I mean, there's a lot of blessings, but it could have happened while I was driving. And if that had locked up, it's locked up, guys. It won't go anywhere. If it had locked up while I was driving, I, I could, it would have flipped the RV. I mean, just head over, head over, head over. And um, so um, I, I just, I'm very blessed. I'm very lucky. It chose to uh, break in the parking lot. It was breaking on the way here. It was making a horrible noise. And, and y'all, if y'all saw the video today, you know that. And um, But I got into the uh, parking lot before uh, it broke down. And <laughs> I haven't gone any further until they tell me tomorrow to the RV park. Uh, but, um, oh, look at this. Uh, Jerry says he would buy me a brand new one if he was a billionaire. Thank you. I appreciate that. And, you know, uh, thoughts, thoughts do, do count and, um, and, in my hearts and prayers and love and support, um, that, uh, that all, uh, counts. And, uh, and Antonio is asking, could I park it at my home base? And I'm going to address that in just a minute. Let me look at my notes and, and cause I want to make sure I get this, get this right. And, and I was telling y'all about hearing from, from my trusted mechanic who's 300 miles from me right now. And so, uh, he, he's not able to help, but they still contacted me and and what they said uh, was that to get to do all the brakes and all the work that has been done on it already uh that the axle and everything had to be pulled at that time so they're a little concerned about what might have broken and and we'll get into a conversation with them about that later offline and, I, and i'll keep you guys updated but i want you to remember that i had that pinion seal replaced twice y'all remember that first guy that the mechanic i thought was good that turned out not to be so good and then just left me left just you know I got it broke down after I drove away from his place and then he just put belts back on and said I hope you make it home and that was it and um, so he replaced the pinion seal and of course I'm not surprised that that didn't last but then I went to a very reputable like a 10 bay car garage uh, 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 really top rated place in, in Las Vegas Spent the night at Jeff and Gina's to get all that done. And they were supposed to have fixed all that. And then I got new brakes and everything, rear brakes and all that put on at another shop. And so I don't know what happened, you guys. The, I, the fluid has been changed out. The um, it, She doesn't even have 60,000 miles on her. Uh, so I, I really, I, it, but the gears, the gears broke up in there. Uh, and, and, uh, anyway, I'll answer questions here in a minute. And so I'm just looking to see if there's anything else I want to share with you before I start answering questions. Um, I, I, I think that's it. I'll answer questions and then come and look and, and see if I've missed anything. Um, Oh, yeah, Robert says it would not have ended well if I'd been driving. Yeah, I would have just flipped end over end. I, I tell you what, I've, I, I have since done some research, and um, I, I, if that had happened, hi, Bubby, you want to come up? You want to come up? He wants to come say hi again. He was cranky a while ago, but I think the dog is gone now, so he's not trying to get outside anymore. <laughs> and so, um, and so I, um, 
forgot what I was saying. I, I can't multitask and I know that. But uh, anyway, I'm glad I'm safe and I'm glad it didn't happen on the road because it, 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 it would not have ended well. So, uh, let's see. <laughs> Bandit, honey, you are going to, he has been, he has not liked this, you guys. I am a, um, a human. I may have a brain injury, but I'm a human and I can understand what's going on. And we're in this parking lot and we've been here uh, for two days now and we'll be leaving tomorrow. But I, don't, I wish y'all could see his face. He just does not get it and he's having a hard time. But um, So I'm sorry to take away from the live stream, but he, I can tell he's, he's like, what is going on? And um, let's see. Um, I, I think I'm caught up, so let me catch back up where I was and answer some viewer questions. Oh, this isn't really a question, but you guys, look at this. So Tom Wilson, I, 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 I don't remember hearing from Tom before, and he says, stay safe anyway. And, and yes, we are safe. Uh, you know, we didn't get hurt in this, which is a miracle. And uh, I'm going to get towed tomorrow to an RV park. And they, they, I've been up front with them that she's broken down. I'm getting towed in and I'll get towed out. Not one of those that's going to leave them in a jam with a banged up bad RV. And so we're safe and we're taken care of. But you guys, his name is Tom Wilson. My uncle Tom that I got my uh, nomad experience from as a little girl, he was a cross-country truck driver. And in summers... I got to go with him sometimes, and he would dress me up in flannel shirts and make me wear a hat and everything, so so the guys wouldn't, I mean, his, his, his friends at the different truck stops we always stayed at knew I was a girl, but just like on the road in general, um, he, you know, sitting there in the seat, and he, always, and, and he stacked up three phone books, and I sat on that back in the day when you could before it was illegal. Anyway, so this guy, Tom Wilson, said, stay safe anyway, and it was an emotional mess today, and I got that, that text from Tom Wilson, and it was just like, oh my God, so I don't know if Tom Wilson is on here tonight or who you are, but, but thank you for leaving me that comment, oh my God, so anyway, thinking of my Uncle Tom Wilson tonight, and uh, let's see, um, Lola wants to know how much it is to replace the differential. Uh, I'll get into that in a moment, Lola, but the, but the truth is it can't be done. It, 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 I've had too many people tell me it can't be done, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell everybody why. Because I've had a lot of people say, you know, go get a used axle from the junkyard, and I'll address that in a minute. I've had other people say uh, things that I, ca I can do, but um, it, it is, it is, um, it, it, it's not that easy, and I'll explain why in a minute, but, but thank you uh, for asking that. Um, oh, I must have gotten something from my dear friend Pam on uh, PayPal. Thank you, and uh, somebody just gave me a thumbs down for saying that it, it can't be uh, fixed, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know who you are, but uh, I've had a lot of people that tell me, of course, it can be fixed, and I guess I should back up. It can be fixed. It, it's going to cost thousands of dollars. I ain't doing thousands of dollars more on this RV. I've already spent $10,000 fixing her up in addition to the $3,000 I paid for. I, so, anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that in, in a moment. And uh, so let me go on with some more uh, some more. Um, comments and I'm trying to I'm trying to post comments over here and talk and be entertaining and read comments and it hasn't been a good day so I'm sorry if I'm not doing a, a very good job on it I do want to encourage you please to join me tomorrow I, wait a minute let me take this comment down I'll come back and answer it join me tomorrow morning at 9 a.m pacific time how a caravan virtual class they asked me a couple of weeks ago, you guys, talking about serendipity and, and, and irony, they asked me a couple of weeks ago to do a class on older RVs, the pros and cons. <laughs> and so I will be doing that in the morning, Saturday, December 19th at uh, 9 a.m. Pacific time at 12 noon Eastern time. And Robert has a link that he is going to put up over in the chat comments. And if you go to my video that I put up today and look at the pinned comment or the video description there, um, it has it in there as well, as, as does this live chat video description. 
So I will go into way more detail tomorrow. Tonight, I'm just sharing with you my story. Tomorrow, I will tell you what to watch out for, all of the dollars, um, what your alternatives might be, what and and and, uh, and 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 help people learn from the mistakes that I have made. But uh, that will be tomorrow on that class. And tonight, I'm just sharing with you my story and being in this parking lot and what's next and why I feel like Cousin Eddie. So if you want to learn and if you want to know uh, what to do and not to do for yourself or to help somebody else that might be considering getting on the road and considering an older RV, please join that class tomorrow. Okay. All right. So there we go. Y'all got that. All right. So, um, Dwayne says, here's a good one. You could get a rear axle from a pick apart salvage yard and have an independent mechanic install it. Okay. So here's the thing with that. Let me, let me find my notes on that because I want to make sure that I get this right. Um, and, uh, let's see. Um, so, I, you know, the mechanics that have seen this rig and that are uh, reputable mechanics, they, they say otherwise. Uh, first of all, like I said, it's not just the rear axle. It's also the gearbox and, and et cetera, and the whole differential. And trying to find an exact match would be next to impossible. I, I've, I had a mechanic that that he says I'd have to go to 500 probably junkyards because this isn't just a C30 axle. It's an RV duty C30 axle and a dually. And from what I understand, it's not just replacing the axle, which would mean also changing out possibly the brakes again and everything, but making it match that gearbox exactly. And the gears in there are gone. So that has to be replaced. It, it isn't just as simple as, as what, what people seem to, to think it is. And it's going to cost thousands of dollars. And so, the, you know, I, I'm not willing to, to put that kind of money in, into this anymore. And, um, I, you know, right, right or wrong, I, and it's not just me saying that. I, I'm like got myself messed up here because I, I uh, hit too many things. Hold on, you guys. Um, anyway, it's not just me saying that, and I'm not the only one involved in this. I, um, I got, I messed myself up. Hold on, I hit the wrong thing. Y'all know me. Hang on. Uh, how do I get out of that? I don't know. I hit something wrong. And now I have full screen and I can't get you guys back. I'll find you though. Hang on. Uh, let's see. No. No. I can't get rid of, um, hmm. I can't get my, um, there it is. Hang on. I got it. Yay! I did it. I need my, uh, Y'all hang with me. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm at the point. <laughs> I, it's not that I don't care. I do care. But I am at the point tonight where I'm, I'm um, I don't know why that's there. Are y'all seeing me okay? That's the main thing I want to make sure of. That y'all are getting good, good camera and everything. Um, so, uh, anyway, it's not just, a, it, it did run low on oil. Because the pinion seal evidently was never fixed, even though I paid to have it fixed twice at two different shops. And um, I was t I've was i been told now by the three mechanics that have looked at it here uh, that it was continuing to leak. And it probably did run dry. And um, that's just um, uh, something that I, I could, could have checked for and uh, didn't know to. And... Um, you know, something is acting up here, and I don't know what to do. Um, all right, hang on, you guys. I got to get Ecamm back. There it is. All right, so so my next comment, let me get rid of that one. And, oh, good, y'all see me still okay. Um, <laughs> I love this. Rita says sometimes, I mean, Kyle says sometimes you just have to call time of death on something. And Terry says, thank you, Terry. You have to know when it's time to cut your losses. And, and the other thing is, you guys, it's not just me. Um, I, I have, um, it, it's a, the, the other thing is, um, I can't believe I just did that. I just did the same exact thing. The other thing is, it's not just me doing this. It's a, um, oh, shoot. I got, I, I keep opening up pages to look at my notes 
and it won't go away after I open it up. Oh, there it is. It came and it went. Hang on, you guys. I don't have my technical guy here with me. He's on the road. And I don't know. Um, I have got to make sure I can do this. When I'm practicing for... Oh, there it is. When I'm practicing for my class, um, it I, I don't have this problem. So I'm hoping it doesn't go this badly tomorrow. Y'all pray for me. <laughs> but the other thing that I want you guys to know is that it's, it's not just... Um, me making this decision. I, I've got experts that are weighing in on the RV, and I have a trustee and a fiance that are with me every step of the way on this, and they are also saying uh, th that uh, no more, um, you know, no no more on putting money into her, and um, and so then I talked about maybe donating it. And so, and so Anita says that somebody would love the gift of an older RV. Well, the thing is, and I want everybody to, again, please tune into my class in the morning. And we're going to talk about the pros and cons of that. I'm not going to go into that tonight. Um, but if, if, you know, it, 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 at some point, uh, it's, it's even if you could get that rear end, not the differential and everything fixed, she's got other issues. And even though she has less than 60,000 miles, for me... Uh, she's got uh, a gray take leak. The people that, that uh, ripped me off on my overhead air conditioner, uh, it's not working right. The Tom did a great job on my cabin AC, but there is a hose that has a leak that, once again, it, they don't make it anymore. And so it's just like, I'm, I, I, even if my fiance, Robert and my trustee, David, weren't saying you are not putting another dime in this machine, I don't, I wouldn't want to anyway. I don't want to, I'm done. And I am not going to put her off on somebody else. I, I'm getting um, numbers, dollars and everything of what it's gonna cost. But I think she needs to be retired maybe as a hunting cabin. Or, you know what I'd really love to see her be is like at a and b those, those places where they don't move it. and it, But then they're still going to have to get the AC and, and, and everything uh, fixed. And Robert says he has come to refer to Freebird as a white elephant. And uh, Kathy says labor cost will be very high. Yes. And so I, I will go into more costs tomorrow. But uh, basically, if it were a regular van, or a regular truck and it had a C30 axle and it wasn't a dually and all of that wasn't broken back there you, you know it might could be fixed I've been told for around 2,000 to get all of that done but since it's super heavy duty it starts at 4,000 they can't find parts newer than 19 I mean older than 1992 so some of it's gonna have to be fabricated if it can be and there the money goes up from there so anyway Freebird's dead it's a dead subject um, anyway, um, it, it, you know, and I appreciate that everybody is trying to give me ideas on how to keep her alive, but she just needs a nice, peaceful, warm, loving funeral, and uh, that's it. And uh, so, uh, and so the, the other question that has come up, and Pete, let me get rid of this comment that's up there now so I can close that off. The other comment that's come up, like Peter and Kyle and Lola and others, I think, have said is about parking her in the RV park. Okay, uh, first of all, I got my home base, and it's 300 miles away. I am not paying that tow bill to have her towed back there. And, and, and then, again, she still has issues, she, you know, the AC and everything. I'm not paying her to have her towed back there. I am going to an RV park here until Robert gets back and we can figure out what to do. We are not living in an RV park the rest of our lives. This is temporary. We're nomads. We're travelers. Robert will continue to be a traveler. I think the best thing for us would be a trailer. Uh, but then we are uh, fancy free, the white van, you know, she's old. So I don't know, but we will figure it out. And I'm grateful to have Robert to help me with that because I just, I, this is, I, I'm just done. I, I can't tell you how done I am. 
the good news for you guys is that with me doing a vlog now, you get to see this whole process. You get to see me adjusting to this new RV park where I don't know anybody there. I don't know anything about it. I don't know this area. I'm going to be walking to the store, um, you know, and Bandit's got to adjust and I got to see how he does. And uh, I'm going to be right on a main road of the RV park. It's it's nothing that I would ever pick on my own. And I'm very blessed and very grateful that I have this place to go to and, and that I, I can pay for getting towed there. That's a blessing. And um, that I have people in my life that are helping me. And if you saw the video today, you saw that uh, my friends, um, uh, Gio and Allie, went and got all my tent and all of that stuff. I thought I had uh, pictures of that. Uh, but they went and got my uh, tent and, and all of that stuff that was out there. I, I don't guess I finished uploading that. And um, and I really appreciate that. And they're storing that for me. And I found a storage unit. And I'll get that from them and get that to a storage unit somehow. And then Robert and I have to figure out what we're going to do. If I and, and it's just serendipitous that I got engaged. And, and Robert and I need to figure this out it, together. And um, because otherwise I, I really don't know what, what I would do. But, um, uh, so, uh, Julie, okay, so I, evidently somebody is saying, uh, Kyle and others are saying rent it out as an Airbnb. No, I'm not in the landlord business. I can't even take care of me and Bandit, and I haven't been able to take care of this RV for my home. I'm done with this RV. I can't say that enough. So, and, and then I, I and, and Lola's saying, uh, new ones are expensive. That's another thing. People have said, go just do like Rusty 78609 did and go buy a new one. Well, folks, come on. If I could afford a new RV, I, I wouldn't have bought this one. I, I wouldn't have been struggling to, to try to keep her, uh, afloat as, as, as hard as I did. And, and now I couldn't afford to buy anything anyway, cause I took out three loans to get this damn thing repaired. So, um, anyway, um, so that's, um, uh, it, it's, I don't know what we're going to do. This is all raw. It just, it just happened. Y'all are, I mean, you're talking about live stream, it, it, this, you're getting it real. Um, I, I, I got the news and, um, made the arrangements with the funeral home for my RV yesterday and, I haven't had time for it to really sink in, and um, but I'm still grieving. I'm still in shock, and we don't know what we're gonna do. Um, so, uh, uh, so Curtis, I, I've had I've had a lot. Thank you, I appreciate that, and I've had a lot of people that have said that. The shop where I was going to take it, they do have the tools, and they have the young crew, the young bucks that could work on it. Uh, they have the power lift. They have all of that, and they were like, hell no, I'm not touching that because you can't get the parts. They're going to have to be fabricated. Even if we can get it apart and put it back together, I can't guarantee it, and so no, we're not touching it. So I, I really appreciate that, and I've got a lot of people that are like, oh, I can fix that, but no, you can't. At some point... You're going to have to trust that Robert, David, me, three mechanics, my mechanic in Pahrump, and uh, people that, you know, they that have had eyes on, that have crawled under here, that have pictures of all the stuff that's broken, know what they're talking about. <laughs> so, uh, it, it it just it just can't be. It's it, She's gone. And um, <laughs> so, I love what Terry says, get rid of it and they invite us to a virtual funeral for Freebird. Well, when Robert and I, we might do that. When Robert and I decide what to do with her and what we're going to, what we're going to do, um, we will. And, and Kathy, why do you want me to change the subject? Honey, this is my life right now. It's all I got to talk about. Um, anyway, so, um, Southern Sky Woman, does the RV park know you are towing Freebird? Um, I said that, but your, your comment might have been posted before I, I said it. Of course, I would never do, um, I mean, I'm transparent and I mean, um, where I'm parked, I've gone in and talked to the Walmart manager. I have met with the Crit Tribal Police because this is their property. And they came out and I talked to them. I'm above board all the time. And, um, and I have all those bases covered. 
Um, and uh, so I will get towed to the RV park tomorrow. They know that she's not running. And I went, uh, my friends Val and Greg took me by there. I went in and met with the manager and I met them in person. And so, uh, yes, I'm, I'm being 100% um, uh, uh, honest about what's going on. And um, so sorry I'm not changing the subject much tonight. I don't know what you want to talk about. If you got something you want to ask. Um, oh, Pam wants to know. Thank you. If you got something else you want to talk about, ask. But uh, <laughs> I, I mean, this is my life, you guys. I just lost my home. I mean, I'm, I, you know, I, I just lost my home. So yeah, I'm sorry if this is a downer um uh, broadcast, but it is what it is. When will Robert be back with me? We don't know. He has gone up to, uh, I know you know this, Pam, but I'm going to answer for others that might not know. Uh, he's gone up to, like he said in his uh, video section of Where's Robert, he's gone up to be with his grandfather, his bumpa, and he is right now stalled because of the storm, but he will be there in New York with his family for the duration and depending on weather and everything, and, and then come back. And the only person that knows the answer to that is God, and we will be patient and uh, just sending all our love that we can with the family in the meantime and safe travels to Robert. Have no clue. I don't have any answers for anything. I don't know, except that I'm getting towed tomorrow to an RV park. I don't know what I'm going to do with this rig. I don't know when Robert will be back. We don't know what we're going to do when Robert gets back. I don't know what to do with all of my stuff that's over at Geo and Allie's. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get propane on board here to have to do hot water because I don't think they deliver um, an onboard propane. Now, I got propane bottles and all that, but but the, the RV itself to get uh, propane in it, I can't tow it to town every time I need propane. So I, I, there's a lot of unanswered questions, you guys. This all just happened yesterday. I don't have I don't have. Uh, many answers and uh, so uh, Lola says someone will buy that and put it in a trailer park and charge someone 600 a month to live in it and and, and they could uh, I, I don't know that I want to be a part of that that's why we're talking about donating it and um, so um, and, and then whatever anybody does with it from there that's fine but um, I, I'm not sure that I want to be a part of passing her on other than uh, don donating it um, <laughs> Tony says you would be better off playing Powerball with your money than putting more money in that thing, and 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 that's that's probably true. Oh, Kathy explains. Uh, change the subject so others would stop guessing yours and Robert's decision. Oh, uh, I, I know you you love me, Kathy. I, I just was feeling bad that because it must be a boring, um, you know, it's like uh, I don't remember that saying, "Beat a dead horse to death" or something like that. I'm I'm sure I am, but you know. At least the electricity is uh, still working. That's why I'm going to an RV park, um, Janet, because, uh, of course, to boondock, you got to be able to go in and get supplies and everything. And you guys, I y'all saw that place where I was camped. It was just, I was so looking forward to spending the winter there, coming into town only every couple of weeks to get supplies. And I, you know, I just had so much planned and and i say all the time you know god just goes oh isn't that cute she has a plan <laughs> so i shouldn't plan but uh and megan says that 2020 is almost over hang in there dear lady and that's true for a lot of us um uh, so many of us have so much going on and my dear cousin cindy that's on here tonight she and mike Cindy and I were talking today, and she said that she's going to actually stay up for New Year's Eve this time for the first time in a long time because she wants to make sure 2020 goes away. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Uh, so um, that so that's great, Megan. I appreciate that. And and Bugsy says sorry you're going through this. Prayers are with you. Thank you. So many are going um, through so much. It, it's, it's not, it's not just me. And, and, uh, the blessing is that I, like Southern Sky Woman says, I do have a place to tow her, um, in, um, at, you know, in, in a place to stay and Bandit and are safe. We didn't, we didn't roll the thing and she didn't, the line, the, the axle didn't lock up on us while I was driving. And I was driving 50, 55, uh, for 40 miles coming here. So, um, it, it's it, to think that she died in the parking lot. That that's God right there, you guys. In in, in my mind and in my heart. Um, let's see. 
Oh, that's sweet, Wondering Wild Woman. But, you know, I, in this day and age, my friends Greg and Val, they, Greg let me in his truck. But in this day and age, it's just... It's it, you got to be so careful uh, it, it, with with the the virus and everything, and um and and that and and uh, it's not a tool shed that's there in the RV park uh, that I put in uh, that's 300 miles from me, but I do have stuff in there that I I'm like oh my lord I I, I got to figure that out too and I'd forgotten about that so um it, in addition to my stuff that's at Geo and Alley's we got to figure out what we're gonna do with my home base and that shed there and and um, but we'll you know and and I want you guys to keep weighing in I, I don't mean to make it sound like I don't want to hear from you it's just that at some point you got to trust that that we've done our homework and and um that that we're making decisions um uh, not just um willy-nilly or haphazardly uh that, that we kind of are invested in trying to make this successful and so um anyway um um pearl says not but i don't know what you're saying not about pearl <laughs> I'm behind. Uh, somebody asked me something. Oh, wait. I think I have one more comment. Um, let's see. Um, oh, no. I already did that one. I think I think that was... Uh, oh, I know. Y'all be sure and join me next Friday. I, I'm not hanging up yet. Uh, Y'all be coming up with questions while I'm saying this. If, if you have any, I'd love to answer them. Anything you want to ask me, I'll answer. I promise. But next Friday, the next FNL is on December 25th and it's Christmas and I always get this backwards and it's Christmas and we will celebrate Christmas together if, especially if you're going to be alone and somebody says you know um, um, that I'm not alone and to not quit saying that I'm going to be alone because I have lots of people that love me and all that and I, I don't mean that I'm going to be lonely or that I'm going to be sad or depressed or negative or any of those things. But I am, other than Bandit, I am going to be alone. I, facts are facts, folks. That doesn't mean I'm, I'm being negative. And um, if you're going to be alone, and especially if you are going to be lonely or anything, uh, please join us. And I'll try to make it a fun Christmas night FNL. Let's see. And... Um, Oh, and I love this. I want to close the viewer comments with something uh, special, uh, special and positive, and then I'll come over and answer your questions. But Bambi says, thank God you have a wonderful little place to lay your head with Bandit next to your side until Robert comes home and you guys decide where to go from there. And that's it right there. I'm very, very blessed to have that situation um, and especially now that I'm, I'm pretty much past the crying, grieving part of, of losing my home, um, I'm, I'm very, very, very blessed. So there you, there you go. <laughs> As a she said, she shed, then someone will pay $5,000 for it. You know, they might, unless they go back and watch my videos. <laughs> <laughs> if they go back and watch my videos, they won't pay five dollars for it. <laughs> um, so, oh, sea lions, that's a good one. What am I looking forward to most about being married? I started to say being with Robert all the time, but you know, it, it, things happen. Like, like now, I'm having to to go on the road. But, but I, I think that's it. Um, be, being with Robert on a different level and being a part of his family on a different level and, and making it official. There's a lot of people that said you don't have to get married, but, but for us it feels different. And uh, I think just just being that um, is, is being with Robert and being official and being a part of the uh, family. And uh, let's see. Uh... uh Carol says, "Ho ho ho, Santa's help, Santa's helper, Deborah. <laughs> That's me, <laughs> my little hat. Bandit has a a little scarf, but he's mad at me again. He's not gonna come back up." <laughs> Uh, so Janet says, what are your plans for Christmas? I think I, you probably posted that before I put up that I'm going to have my regular Friday night live Christmas night because it's on a, a Friday. And, um, oh, <laughs> Pearl, boring, but I think it went with the not boring. I'm hoping that that boring went with the not, Pearl. Is that it? I love you. Love you, love you. Um, let's see, uh... 
I'm trying to see if there's any more questions that I that I missed. Um, yes, the fact uh, Sea Lion says it's a Christmas miracle that that it didn't lock up on us while I was driving, and I I agree. Um, and so, oh, Peter says, uh, uh, please chat with Deborah. Some of the interior parts can be, you can chat with me, Peter. Kathy doesn't have to chat with me on your behalf, although I'll, I love to chat with Kathy too. Uh, uh, retrofitted into your bus for a conversion. You know, that is something. If, if people, um, I, I don't know about that, um, but that is, is something. And if we donate it, uh, there is a foundation, uh, Howa doesn't accept donations like this, so it's not Howa, but there is a foundation that ex, um, if we donate it that we're talking about, and I would let you guys know uh, so that you can um, uh, po possibly talk to them. But Deborah wants to know, oh, I tapped the wrong thing, sorry. I love you. Oh, thank you, Susan. That is so sweet. Uh, Deborah Van Zant wants to know what weight uh, can fancy free tow Fancy Free, I believe we looked it up, and Fancy Free can tow uh, 5,000 pounds. I, I, I think that's right. Robert's on here, and maybe if he's still on here, he might have had to start driving again. Uh, but if he's still on here, he can confirm whether or not I'm right. But I think it was 5,000 pounds. Um, so um, Hybrid Life says, uh, oh, I, I know I'll be fine. I'm so blessed. I'm, I don't want to ever give the impression that I'm not blessed because I am. And it is a temporary situation. I get to go to an RV park. It's, uh, they're like crammed in there. I'm going to, and y'all know me with my supersonic hearing because of my brain injury. I'm going to hear everything my neighbors are doing and saying. I'm probably going to have to wear earplugs all, all day. And you know what? The truth is that every other, only every other RV where I'm going can have their slides out because they're so close together two RVs at a time, can't have their slides out. I'm just like, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going I'm to try not to be negative. I'm going to lose my freaking mind being there, but it'll be okay. Um, so visitor season is coming up, and some friends will help you in transition. Yes, I'm very blessed with uh, with people in my life, and um, I, I know that that will be true. Oh, Beth says that she will be on Christmas. Thank you, Beth. Love you. And I've been wearing my neck gaiter a lot that you gave me. Um, so, uh, oh, not Christmas Eve, do drop in, it's Christmas Day, Friday the 25th, I believe it is, uh, and, um, let's see, um, yeah, to Christmas Day, um, oh, and Gloria says she will be there, first time she'll be by herself, and, uh, thank you for the prayers, same to you. And uh, so Vesta Moon says, I bought me a new van, an old van new to me, had it repaired and checked for a clean bill of health. It, uh, how's that a question? Vesta, I'm confused. What's your question, sweetheart? Let me know. Maybe it's on down here. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, so then she says, now I need to build it out for travel. How much should I do before I can just get in and go? I'm thinking throw a mattress in the back and take off. Okay, well, I was talking to Sue Ann about that yesterday, and, it, you know, it seems to me, I, I'm way behind on comments, aren't I? I I'm sorry, but it, it seems to me, let me see how long I'm going, I'm over. Okay, it seems to me that there is this mindset that has developed, and I think it's because there's so many resources out there. Um, you know, you've got, you've got Bob Wells, mega successful YouTube channel, Cheap RV Living. And before that, he had his book and his forum. Robert has classes and books and it, uh, on how to do this lifestyle. Robert has, uh, you know, how, how to live in a car. And he's got the Nomad 101 courses and that are, you know, for a lifetime. And, and, and then there's so many YouTube channels and tours and everything that people get to see these decked out rigs. And, and it just seems to me that there's this mindset that you have to have your perfect little tiny home with all of the knickknacks in their proper place and, and, and it looking just right and, and feeling like your home before you take off. And because of what I'm going through with Freebird, I got to tell you, I'd give anything. I, I, I think this is a true statement. I, I've been thinking a lot about this. I'd give anything. 
to go back to my bare bones van where I had a sleeping bag and two duffel bags and my two damn dogs and that was it. I didn't have to worry about electricity, solar, um, uh, plumbing, um, uh, you know, it was a dependable rig. Um, I don't know. I, I just, uh, let me go back. I, I think I lost sight of the question, but um, how much you have to have done before you hit the road. I think what you have to have done before you hit the road, if you can, is to do the best you can to make sure it's dependable. Uh, I did that with Fancy Free. I, I, I actually paid uh, $500, $250 to two different mechanic shops to have her checked out head to toe. Um, she she is very dependable. Robert's still driving her 100,000 miles later, and she's still clicking. And, and, but when it comes to the interior, to, to your, your basic household needs, good Lord, if you, if you can eat, drink, and poop, and sleep, you're, you're good. It doesn't have to be all frou-frou. I'm, I'm living proof of that. I went the first year without solar. I didn't have a refrigerator my first year and a half. Um, anyway, I'm, I don't want to get into too much of that because it's tomorrow's class. But I, I don't. And, and I'll go into more detail on that and share numbers and everything tomorrow. So, so again, um, you guys, please be sure to join me for that class tomorrow. I, I just, um, I just, I don't, I don't think you, you, you need much. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't even have insulation. Now, I, I, you know, it, is it nice to have the luxuries? Yes, it is. I, I'm, I'm kind of going to go back the other way to basics. And uh, so, uh, Kathy is saying um, that, um, uh, Kathy, you're going to have to redo it. I can't re rewrite your question, baby. I can't go back that far. Um, oh, and, and you guys, look at look at this. This is Carol, Carol Glow, Glorious Life on Wheels. Uh, let, let me know what I can do to help. And I, I'm just so sorry. Uh, Carol, I know we were going to get together. I, I hope you are still coming back in January and we'll get together then. Uh, that is so sweet of you. Um, thank you. And um, modern conveniences equals more headache. You know, and that's true. You guys think of it, uh, it like like even your windows on your car. If they're manual, you pretty much are going to be able to roll them down and roll them up any time. If they have electrical part that's so convenient, if that goes out, you know, it, you got a whole panel and electrical issue, and then you have to trace it and take the doors apart and. Uh, anytime you have more of a convenience or a more of a modern bandage, you want to come up? Or more of, of something modern, it, it's going to um, make things more difficult. Come here, baby. Come on. Huh? I can't pick you. I'm sorry, guys. He's just so... All right, come. Huh? He's just so out of sorts. He just doesn't know what's going on. And he says, Mama, it's bedtime and we're not going... See, can you hear him growling at me? He growls at me a lot lately. Um, okay, so. Uh, oh, good. Vesta says she will try to do tomorrow, but days are weird for me. Um, and you can contact Howa Vesta. I think that they are going to uh, be putting the classes up on their YouTube channel. Not not tomorrow, but, but later. And maybe you can get a copy of that or the link to that all. Uh, Antonia, uh, good night, sweetheart. Please contact me. Um, and uh, Kathy says go to my email after this. It's important. Um, if it was about towing, um, I think I saw something of you saying something about towing, Kathy. Uh, she can't be towed, uh, four wheels down. She can't because she can't, she's locked up. So nobody can tow me. It has to go on a big flatbed. So if it's about that, thank you though. Um, oh, Lynn. Hi, Lynn, my darling. And thank you for all your help that got me through the summer. I love you. She says her daughter donated two cars to cars for vets. They tow away. Yes, this place will come get the rig. Uh, not sure if it takes RVs. Uh, if you text me later, we can talk. We'll do. I do know a place. If we donate it, I do know where I'm going to donate it to. But thank you, Lynn. But I want to talk to you anyway, so so I will. Um, and Rita says she keeps considering a van build also. Good for you. That's awesomeness. Um, and Okay, good deal. Good deal. Um... um and Wondering Wild Woman says that she was ready to head for Arizona. Three feet of snow. I'm so sorry. Uh, I hope it does too. Um, 
let's see am i am i missing something i feel like i'm missing stuff oh carol thank you so much and you, you're you're you know we haven't gotten to hang out as much as i'd like but i've enjoyed every one of our conversations and, and that is just so sweet of you um thank you and i'm sorry guys bandit wants to come back up i just he cannot get settled he doesn't know what he wants um thank you glow carol i appreciate that and is there anything else you guys otherwise i'm going to hang up uh mods have i missed anything um uh, yes i with what robert says I, w with what we do now we do need electricity to to charge our stuff and but even even lights and stuff now there's so much that you don't you don't have to have electricity for them um uh uh oh julie says that i must have a subscriber in town who'll help uh, with running errands and everything and and if uh, uh I, it's not the propane that i need picked up it's propane to put into the rv and and that has to be done i i it, um i i i can i can get cans and everything thank you julie yes i, I can even walk to the store if I need to. Okay. Um, I think that that is it. Um, <laughs> do drop in says that she's looking for a Flintstones, uh, mo mobile, no motor. Well, that's what Robert and I want to trailer at this, at this point. And it would work better for us as a couple. You got to remember too, I bought this, uh, when it was just me, uh, before Robert and I even got back together and certainly before we got engaged and so uh, there's um, uh, you know <laughs> it, it's not the best rig for two people so we'll have to address that as well um, Nomad Narcoleptic says make sure it's safe um, and um, if you're talking about the RV park I'm going to sweetheart I don't have a choice. I'm going to have to make do with whatever that park is because it's the only one around and they all, and the and they were generous enough to let me bring a towed a, a, a RV that's being towed and trailered in to their RV park. So um I, I I'll, I'll I'll be good. <laughs> and uh y'all are so sweet. I think I'm 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 done. <laughs> I just don't want to miss anybody or, but y'all please join me for my, um, uh, class tomorrow morning. And if you can't join me next Friday night, I hope that you have a very, very Merry Christmas. I will be thinking of you all week. I'm going to have vlogs coming up all the time now. So please stay tuned to my channel. And if you would share my channel and help me, if you want to help me, that's how you can help me help me grow my channel it's just stalemated and i need all the help i can get with that and i really appreciate that and i love you guys thank you all so much i don't see any more uh questions um that i can answer right now if i've missed anything please feel free to email me and as always just keep on keeping on and i will see you down the road Bye, everybody. Good night. I love you.